just walking out of the hotel room, headed downstairs. We're in Minneapolis, and we're headed to Iowa City today for the NCAA Regional Championships. Very excited about it. Pretty sure the kids are pumped. We're gonna go downstairs, we're gonna talk to a few people, we're gonna get on the bus. We're gonna head on out to Iowa City. So hopefully you'll enjoy this little trip as we go along with our kids to the regional championships. Thanks for coming along. Where did everybody else go? To the bus. To the bus. Yeah. Is that a prom? Yep. Yeah. We just have breakfast in the hotel, so we still got a few people that are down here eating. Still got your pan of brownies. What happened? You couldn't give them away? They'll, they'll disappear, I'm sure. Today. Leave them by Kyle, they'll disappear a lot quicker. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys sleep all right last night? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. What are we doing today at the course? A little shakeout? Yeah, a little shakeout. Alyssa's just joined. Did you just wake up? <laughs> Not everybody keeps the same schedule when it comes to getting up and getting outside and putting things on the bus. So I am going to go outside. I'm going to throw my bag on the bus. I want to make sure that I've got prime seating. I know it looks like it's cold out here. It is not. It is going to be 50 degrees today. Mm. Primo weather. Tomorrow, maybe not so much. What did you bring? Movies. Movies? What type of movies? McFarland USA. Okay, and that one's about what? Um, running. We're watching that one. Oh, okay. You want to watch that one? Yes. I'm going to grab it. We've got brownies, we've got movies, we've got McFarland. Why did you bring any other snacks? Uh, I bananas and other things. <laughs> <laughs> everybody else is slowly filtering onto the bus, so we're waiting for everybody to get there. I was explaining. I was just explaining our video situation here. Our trainer wanted to know uh, why I had my phone on a, on a tripod, but now she knows. So talk about know. shoot videos, talking about the program, what's going on. Ready to go? Ready to go. Cool. Hey, Sydney. <laughs> no. What? Uh, no, Sydney. What? We're trying to document the fact that you're the last person on the bus. I was checking out. Checking out? What were you checking out? Is there a good looking guy in there? No. It's too early for that. Boys, are we missing any of you? No. No? Are you sure? Pause. Girls, we got all six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. We got seven. Yes, you're making your debut. My, my, my life has been fulfilled. <laughs> are you getting ready to do a, a big announcement? Uh, we're just getting ready to do a little meal money Ooh. here on the trip. So uh, we usually do it when we. Everybody gets $10? Uh, slightly more than that today, but <laughs> that's it's a good. Three day trip. That's good. Yes. I'm excited about it. Couple of deals of water here. I'm gonna grab two of those. Give me another one just for good measure. Okay. So we always bring water whenever we're on the bus because so the people have got something to drink. Who had waters here? Okay. Anybody else want to? Of course. I knew I should bring three. And we just did a variety of chips. Perfect. Look at that. A variety of chips. <laughs> you would have been the jalapeno. What, what's going on here? You got your jalapeno chips. I got chips. a special selection of jalapeno chips. That's good. <laughs> There's not a whole lot here between um, where we are now and where we're going. City. So we're stopping here so the kids can eat their lunch wherever they want. We're going to get on the course. When are we getting on the course, Kyle? Thank you, know? Right around noon. So we're getting on the course right around noon. Actually, I think it's one, one or two. So we, we, we wanted to give them the opportunity to grab some food, let it settle. If they want to eat it after we get at the course, that's also an option, but 
It's a lot better than eating one hour before you go get on the course and then uh, <laughs> going for a long run. So that's why we're uh, picking up Subway right now. First reaction to the course. Looks nice. Oh, it looks so, so good. <laughs> got outside and based upon what I'm feeling, I do not need this hat. It's actually pretty warm, pretty nice. It is a little bit blustery out. Uh, that's to be expected here in the Midwest though, very normal. So just wait for the kids to get on the bus now. to Hornbacher's in Fargo and then when we went to Griak, what was the place we went to? I can't remember that. The grocery store. But then we went to Texas and we went to HEB and then we went to uh, Texas we went to um, Bucky's was Bucky's. the convenience store. What HEB and what was the other one? Reese's? Reese's? Reese's, Reese's yeah. Kro no, it was Kroger. Kroger, yes. And so Kroger. now we're going to High V in Iowa. Let's go. So you guys are all getting very cultured in the grocery stores that we choose grocery stores all around the country. Concerned that this is gonna be a feature length film just on our travel to Iowa and from Iowa. And you can see right now, we just walked into Hy-Vee. Everybody's getting fresh fruit, fresh produce. Green sticks out like a sore thumb in here. Look at these guys. Ooh, bottom roast round, $5.99. Okay, look at that. Personalized room keys. Was yours personalized as well? What? Was yours personalized? Yeah. Oh, Sydney, yours is personalized. Kyle's is personalized. The level of service here is exponentially better than uh, I'm not gonna knock Marriott, but Fairfield's maybe not at the same level as a graduate. So I guess I gotta open my package to see where exactly my room is. Hopefully it's got a number in here and it's not just a random key. Looks at that. Room 700. This place has 700 rooms. I think that's true or is it just a zero room on the seventh floor? We'll see. Excited though. There it is. The triangle room. Look at that. Triangle room. These windows are actually clean, overlooking the walking mall down below. This is what downtown Iowa City is all about. Everybody pre dinner. Hanging out at the graduate. 
Kyle texting super fast with one hand. Impressive. Headed outside, get on the bus. We're gonna go run to Olive Garden, have a little dinner there. And then we are, I see those. Then we are uh, back to the hotel. One sleep, race tomorrow, back on the bus. I think it's a 10 hour trip. How long is it, Jake? About 10 hours. About 10 hours on the bus, so. Min Dakota, thank you very much for driving us around. You guys are doing a fantastic job. In a world of like chartered vehicles and buses, there's here and then there's there. I've experienced both the highs and the lows. This is one of the highs. And you know, when you get on here, this is probably one of the most fantastic buses we've got on. We've got lots of leg room here. Sydney, you got enough leg room there? Yeah, very nice. Plenty of leg room. Look at this. That's right. Got our own meeting room in here. Gentlemen, what type of meeting are we having in here? Is this a board meeting? Meeting of the minds? Yes. Everybody got enough pins? Man, it is loud out here. We are leaving the graduate in Iowa City some flurries right now it's not too cold there's a little bit of wind I'm sure once we get out on the prairie there will be a little bit more wind but right now we're headed to the bus get ready for the ladies race ladies are first men are following them not too much still just a little wet so I got my boots on okay Updates coming. I'll just say we're very glad that we have a tent today. I thought about not a tent and I'm glad we reconsidered. Ladies are already two minutes into their race. I'm trying to get over here so we can see some more of the rest of it here. They're gonna run out past here and they're gonna go all the way around, follow the tree line. <coughs> We're doing six kilometers today. Fairly decent out here. Wind feels like it's died down a little bit. Most of the people were trying to get Cross the course here, so we need to see some of the some of the action. Keep you up to date. Right there on her heel. 
at the Hawes Twins of Minnesota. Brooke Mullins of Drake is in the top five right now. Let's go, Alyssa! Riley Reborn. Alyssa riding right up in the front there. See Rice in the middle there, Connie in the middle there. Burry in here as they make the turn. Really tight pack at this point. I wish I could get a few splits to figure out exactly where we're at. We're looking good though. I see a mile one marker right there. It must be through mile one. Five pass. Okay, so ladies have got about another three quarters of a lap. They're gonna come by us real quick. Last time I looked on the splits, they're 22nd, right behind the Bison who are in 21st. She's right up in the front there. We're waiting for a couple more to come by here. Uh, last ones that I saw were Michaela Weiss and Mackenzie, Mackenzie Burian also in there. Those will be the next ones that should be coming by here. Beautiful, beautiful. Yep, here comes Mackenzie. She's moved up a little bit. Been looking for Connie and Michaela Weiss. Here comes Michaela. Let's go, Michaela! Come on, Connie, keep moving up! Comes Eliana. Picking one or two up every now and then. So crew's looking decent. They're gonna go out, they're gonna go on the far side again. And then I believe they're gonna finish on, after that. So the real question will be how many spots we can pick up in the next, I think, 2K. Good job, ladies. Thank you. How was that? A little chilly. Perfect yeah. weather? Yes, I love it. Beautiful. I love it. Weiss, you had a very aggressive 800 there. I like that. Yes. <laughs> Nothing if it was more like home or like a 30 round or a bad energy. Yeah. I love it. Guys, okay, please. How was that? Oh. Good? Hard? Hard? Good job. Good job. When, when we started and all the girls were screaming, I felt like you were in a war movie. Yeah, like a brave like, heart. Like running into like battles. Yeah, yeah. Come your men again. They're looping by us. Beautiful course again. Long prairie grass divided by manicured sections. All appropriate length. You can see Patrick as he cruises by here. The outside looks like he's at about 100th. We got Labatt in there as well. Jalaka up there as well. Boy, and that's it right like that. Just about all by. Okay, so we're 5K in at this point. Looks like we're with the men. We're going to end up with two loops the same way they are. You're going to end up retracing their steps on a portion of this course, but things have dramatically struck out as we are now over halfway into this. Team 
the scores are starting to really shake out. The question will be now where we end up. This is uh, the expensive water diva, <laughs> formerly known as Sydney. This is five dollars. Is, is it like? Oh no, five dollars. Oh my goodness I gracious! I didn't know we had water left, so I was like, <laughs> and she charged me ten dollars. <clears throat> Everybody just got food near the hotel, which was the Graduate, which I didn't know, but is a chain of hotels in collegiate towns probably there's one in nebraska in lincoln uh there is one in eugene got 14 different locations i'm not sure which places they all are but you know it's uh, more of a boutique style hotel it was nice so now we are back on the road we're going to stop for dinner here i imagine another four or five hours as we trek across Minnesota, which is apparently, if you kind of go kitty corner, the largest state in the world. <clears throat> Keep you up to date on how the weather progresses at home. There are blizzard uh, warnings and uh, high wind advisories, so fingers crossed it all goes well. Getting things done here. Everybody else is already eating at Chipotle. We're getting close, so we're almost back home. We got five hours left. <laughs> 